Moscone Cup has returned to its spiritual homeland, the land of Willie Moscone, the home of Nineball. But the homecoming isn't quite going to plan. In a city that prides itself on gambling, the cards have fallen the way of the European visitors. The Europeans are focused on the winning line, which is now within touching distance. The Americans are starting to find the answers, but is it too late? The pressure was really on for Team USA, each match becoming vital. On day three, they turned to Dennis Hatch and Oscar Dominguez. It may have taken them the full nine racks, but when the dust had settled, they'd secured a point for the Americans. They repeated that formula in the second match of the day. Billy Thorpe racing into a 3-1 lead, only for Nick Vandenberg to hit back. The American hung on, though, to make it two wins out of two on day three. Ralph Suke and David Arcady recorded Europe's first point of the day, with Suke ending American hopes of a third straight win. It's not quite the leaderboard the Americans wanted to see on day three. The appearance of blue for Arcady and Suke means that Europe are now just two away from the outright win. Coming up next, a match the Americans know they must win. Shane Van Boning against Jason Shaw. Van Boning is the most experienced American in the team and he'll need all of that experience when he plays Jason Shaw, the man who potted the winning ball in 2016. Commentary for this match comes from Jerry Forsyth and Jay Helford. And this is the kind of match that every pool fan dreams about. Two of the best in the world going head to head. Shane Van Boning and Eagle Eye, Jason Shaw. These two guys are number one and two in money winnings this year. Jason on top, Shane second, that's worldwide. Shane has had a pretty lucrative career. He's got 10 years in a row with six figures in winnings. Thank you to First Reich. <laughs> and you there, to break. <laughs> there's Jason showing his his uh, Quiet down, nickname, please. Thank you. Eagle Eye. I'm glad he didn't take a tumble down those stairs. He'd have been eagle dead. One ball into the side pocket. How many times have we said that this week, Jay? <laughs> sure, he's got an open shot at the two. It's pretty tight here. Five and seven are lined up for that same corner. Yeah, he'd really like to be able to he stay down be. there and leave those two balls alone because the combo is dead on. There we got a good camera angle. We could see he had a clear path to the two. Does he have the angle to get back to the other side of the table? This guy can manufacture an angle. There it is. Watch out for that pocket. side pocket. There is a pocket there. Oh, and Shane Van Boning oh, yeah. gets an unexpected opportunity. Unforced error by Jason Shaw. He may be gifting this first game to Shane. Certainly looks that way. Just wants to hold the five ball right there. That'll work. I don't know if he wants to go around these balls or use a little bit of inside English and go straight up and down the table. We'll see when he cues up. If he's drawing the ball, he's drawing around the nine and eight. Yeah, but he's hitting it with right English, so that would indicate going straight up. Extension call. It's a puzzle. Tell with the overhead. Around the world he went. 
arrived at his destination just perfectly. Great shot from Van Boning. He's got everything he needs now to steal this rack away from Jason's break. That'll do it right there. First blood to Shane Van Boning. One rack down, four to go for Van Boning. A big ask for a man under pressure, but an essential one for Team USA in this year's Moscone Cup. Welcome back to the Moscone Cup and here in Vegas, the American team are hoping against hope that they can save this year's tournament. They had the best possible start winning the opening two matches, but they've lost the doubles. So now the attention turns to Van Boning in the singles. He's a rack ahead against Jason Shaw. This is now the second. Looks like a good break here. Ooh, that one that one ball went a little bit too far. Yeah, it just got ugly. Way to ruin a good break. Yeah, that's there's just nowhere to go. Well, there's no push out here. He's going to come off the probably the right side of that uh, one ball and send the cue ball all the way down table. Let's see. Put the one ball on the end rail. <laughs> like to bank that one ball at least back to a diamond or so. Kind of like that. This will work. Yes. Nice save from Van Bonny there. There's distance for Jason to jump, and he does like jump shots. But he was jumping to safe. Comes out, takes a look with no cue. Now he goes back. He'll be grabbing his jump cue. Little shorty. Wait a second. Extension call. He's not going to shoot this with that playing cue. It's certainly not a jump. Here comes Shorty. No question, he'll hit the ball, but where they end up after contact is anybody's guess here. From this distance, all he can really do is make a good hit. I mean, he'd like to cut it in, but that's pretty tall order. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable shot making from Jason Shaw. I mean, we should be used to it by now, but you're always surprised when someone can pull something like that off. That's a highlight reel shot there. And think what that does mentally to your opponent. He's left himself a really tough, I'm sorry, Jay. Yeah. He's left himself a really tough shot on this ball, though. He's a good way away from it. There wasn't much he could do with both balls on the rail. He just had to sock it in there. Rare miss by Jason Shaw. Good result, though, really, all things considered. All Shane can do is hide. You can't hide forever. You can't win championships by hiding. But sometimes it's just all you can do. It's 
it's never an easy safety when you're shooting from this much distance. Very frustrating when your opponent misses a shot and you don't have one. You feel like the pool gods are all pulling against you. Watch out, corner oh, Look out, look out. Man overboard. Stroke. Ball in hand. Start a clock, please. Take a look at this cue ball. It knows where all the holes are on this table. Way things are, I'm sorry. The way th the way things are going right now for Shane, I think I'd be considering the Amarillo Slim offense. Take a rattlesnake, put it in Jason's pocket, and then ask him for a match. I'm not sure why he played position for. It looks like he's got to shoot a combination here. Maybe the seven passes, I can't tell from this camera angle. Oh, Holy oh. cow! Did you see how far apart those balls were? And that combination went right in the heart of the pocket. Yes. Gonna tie this match up one to one. We are tied now, one to one, race to five. This is, a re this is a rematch from day one. Shane beat uh, Jason handily on the first day. The only point USA got, and Jason would like to return the favor now. Thank you, rack three. Europe to break one rack each. He breaks a little back from the head string. We well, made a ball, but he's got no shot at the one. All those balls are blockers. He's going to have to push out here. First day, the tables were all breaking open and so easy, always leaving a shot. Those days seem to be gone. Yeah, a lot of push outs today. Shane can't see the one, but he can kick at it, and I think he will. He'd like to hit the bottom of the one, leaving the cue ball down here behind this cluster of two, four, six, nine, and send the one up table. Just got to hit the bottom half of the one. Yeah. Reset the clock, please. Start the clock. I don't know what happened there. The referee said to reset the shot clock. Jason's going to try to hit the bottom of this one ball. That's it. That's what he wanted to do. It could be a scratch, but stay up. Good safety. Shane can just see the edge of the ball. The problem with hitting the edge of the one ball is the cue ball is going to track right towards that corner pocket. And because of that, the kick is the safer shot, but the tougher shot from which to achieve a result. Definitely a danger of scratching if you shoot straight at the one. I think he is. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Ball in hand. 
Not sure why he went that route, Jerry. Start the clock, please. Well, it must have looked different to him than it did to us, and that's often the case. Jason now with a great opportunity to get on the two ball and then continue the way through this rack. Extension call. Not sure what the problem is here. I mean, he could just let the cue ball roll forward a couple inches and shoot the four up in the end. Kind of like that. Nothing wrong with that. He may be a little worried about how he gets from the six to the seven, but if he comes down just below the side pockets, he'll be perfect for that. This is one of the big rivalries in professional pool today. A little more angle than he wanted, but makes it even easier to get up table for the seven as long as that eight ball doesn't get in his life. Jason adroitly picking off the balls one at a time. Shane thinking a little bit about how he lost the cue ball. This to put Jason in the lead. Jason Shaw leads our match now two to one. This is a big one. It was looking good for the Americans. Van Boning took the opening rack, but Shaw has won two on the spin. More to come in this fascinating singles match after the break. Las Vegas, we're into the penultimate day of the Moscone Cup. Europe enjoying the better of the previous two days. The Americans starting day three, though, with a vengeance, but faltering in the doubles. Now in the singles, there's the worrying sight of Jason Shaw winning two racks on the spin and taking the lead for the first time in the match. Shane needs a good result on this break shot. He's got two balls down. He's looking for shape on the two, but the Look eight ball may ruin ball. his life. Well, he can shoot the 2-8 combination. It's a lot easier than the one that Jason just made. Yes, it is. That one ball loves the side pocket, doesn't it? Going to draw straight back above the side pocket. Just like that. There was a key shot this rack. That was it right there. Boy, he put some juice on that one, Jet. You see how hard he hit that ball and look at it. it only got to the side pocket. These tables they, they are playing slow. He's good now. Yeah, he's going to trade pockets with the six and seven. This will tie this match two games apiece. That brings 
us to a pair of deuces in this hand. It's a race to five, although now race to three. Two rack five. You're up to break. Two racks each. Balls are racing to get in the pocket here. You can see the two, but I'm never going to say Jason's not going to shoot at a pocket. I mean, conceivably, that's what he's looking at. He could cut it all the way across the table there. Yeah, and he's only playing six ball here. This is a safety, though. He's yeah. just. He wanted to park that cue ball behind the three, and he didn't quite get there. Yeah, he came up short. And he, he's surprised. Shane's got an open look at the two. What do you consider banking this ball cross side? That'd be awfully risky. Especially since you'd have to follow forward for shape on the three. I think the safety's easier. Extension called. He's winding up like he wants to shoot it. Yeah, he is. Oh, he may. No, he may. Let's see. It's hard to no, tell. I think he's going to send it down to the middle of the foot rail and send the cue ball way up table. Come off the top of it. Yeah. Nope. He oh. went for the bank and he made it. Watch Look out. Scratch. Look out. Oh. oh. Van Boning oh. very unhappy with the result of that shot. Now he's got a. Tough, tough out. Well, like you said, it was going to be hard to play position off that shot. This is a harder shot than the bank shot, trying to make that three up in the corner. Nice way to roll the ball in gently. But he's queuing over a pocket, Jay. What do you do to get back on the six? I'll tell you what, this is a beautiful shot on the three ball he made. He's trying to draw this ball. Maybe a stop shot's good. Shoot the six up past the seven. Let's see. Yeah. yeah. It'll go. You want to kind of just roll this ball in. You don't want to hit this one too hard. For some reason, that pocket up there is the toughest one on the table. More balls been missed up there than any other pocket. That's the way to hit it. Two rails for position. One, two. Here we go. For the lead. Van Burning turns this match around by taking two racks on the spin and reclaiming the lead from Jason Shaw. More to come after the break. Welcome back to Las Vegas and the Moscone Cup. We're getting down to the business end of this tournament. Despite the overall score, the Americans are still in this and fighting for every point. They took the opening two, lost the third, and in this match, they've taken the lead via Shane Van Boning. This is now the sixth rack. Three to two with Shane in the lead and breaking. How will this break shot treat him? Got that one on the side. and. He's got to look at the two ball, but that's the three all the way down here behind the nine. Boy. It would take some stroke to get that cue ball back from the two and get on the three. Yeah, and like you've noted before, that particular pocket is very tight. 
I don't think he even wants to take that shot on. I don't either. But he su surprises me all the time. His skill and confidence level are so high. I think the only way you get back on the three is go back and forth across the table a couple times. He's really. Well, he made the ball, but as you can see, it's a long way from the three ball. Yeah, he didn't even try to get close to that ball, and I don't blame him. He's thinking about trying that same safety that he scratched on before coming off the edge of the three ball and going two rails and getting behind the four, seven, six. Extension call. See if he can get the cue ball to go. Yeah, I get one. See where he put his finger, hit the rail there. Shot, he's playing the cue ball all the way to bring it three rails up table. No, he's not going to get behind the balls. He's left Jason shooting over a ball, but it's a good distance back from the cue ball, so it won't hinder him as much as you might normally think. He was never trying to make that three ball. Extension call. Jason's trying to cut this three ball in the corner. Rejected his shot. Now the 6 7, does it line up for a combination or does it line up to hit the rail? Uh, Shane's immediate problem is what is he going to do with the three? Does he want to shoot at this ball? I would think not. This is even harder than the last shot. I don't think the seven ball goes on that combination with the six. I think somebody's going to have to break it up. Well, they can. They can break it up off the five. Get three and the swish that one. Pardon me, my color blindness got me. That's the four ball down there, and he can no longer break this cluster up with it. He's going behind those balls, I think. Yeah, he's going to play safe. That didn't work. That did not work. He wanted to put the cue ball under the seven. Jason has lost his way here for the last few minutes. This is still no bargain for Shane, this rack. It was a difficult little cut shot right there. Yeah, that's a shot to be admired. This is a shot where he's got the right angle to come off the side rail and run into the 7 6. Well, but he's now, got to flirt with the side pocket, though. But now there's enough gap between the 6 and the 7 that he can play that combination if he wishes. Oh, he's got to get there. Oh, he does. That's really a great angle for the combo. That's a pretty severe cut shot from the six to the seven. The six is going to take off all the way down table. He's got to get the cue ball out of there, too, and get it down there somewhere near the six, like that. This is. He got there. Oh, my he got what there. a shot from Van Hoogie. Holy cow, no wonder the American team's on their feet. That one was courtesy of the pool gods. And 
this will put Van Boning on the hill. Job done, Van Boning on the hill, leading a race to five, four to two. The whole team will come down and say, thank you, Shane. There was the disappointment for Jason. And here was the glory for Van Boning. What a fantastic result. All he could do on that combination, Jerry, was get both the cue ball and the six ball rolling. I haven't heard anything fall. Nothing went down. I think the two is blocking the one on the side pocket, though. An unproductive break for Jason Shaw. Would Shane dare to try the one-two combination here? Oh, that would be... Yeah. Uh, you know, if he makes it, he's a hero, but if he misses it, he's a bum. It's either that or play safe. He's looking at it. He's looking at this combo. He can win the match if he makes this shot right here. This might turn out okay. Safety calls. Yeah, this could be a real lock-up safety, too. Jason knows it. Shoot the one ball over to the side and put the cue ball behind the 5-7. Or tuck it right up behind the 4. Boy, good call, Jerry. When you got a ball out in the table like that one ball, it's even harder to hit, especially with the three ball snug up next to it. This is definitely a missable kick shot. Wow, nice hit. Made what a, a hit. beautiful hit. And got a safety. And you can say that was good fortune, but you know, good, good fortune keeps happening over and over and over to these great players. Another opportunity for Shane here with a jump shot. If he can jump this one ball in. Not as easy as it looks. It's a very it's narrow ball. side pocket opening. He'll jump the nine all right, but you've got to hit this one pure. Well, that was close. And it's still not the easiest table in the world to get out, and this is a tough shot, but there you can see he hit the nose of the side pocket. Came out and left a shot, but not much of one. Not, not a great the... shot. He's... Bit fortunate there. Yeah, he got a friendly rub. Shane can come off the right edge of the one ball. Kind of leave the one up there if he can. Hit it really thin and get the cue ball back down table. I don't think he can see the whole ball. Yeah, that's just like that. Well, it's going to stop. It's going to stop. And the eight's in the way. Successful safety. He got a little bit more of the one that he wanted, but it worked out all right. I think Jason can see the left edge of the one. But there's no pocket here. What will he come up with now? Did not want to hit that three ball. That opened the table up for 
for uh, Shane. The uh, he wanted Jason wanted that one ball to be down here on the foot rail. Any long shot like this on this race on table is a challenging shot. This is no bargain. Not this time. He didn't get lucky this time. That ball was close twice. This table has got these guys a little intimidated. Yeah, this was specially set up for the Moscone Cup. The Rasson tables you buy for your home Rail have more first. enjoyable t pockets to play with. You know, he's got a little bit of a problem here, Jerry. He's got to find a way to go two rails and avoid that six and nine to get up on the four ball. <laughs> use the nine ball. He was trying to make that nine ball, but as it turns out, he was able to use it to get back up table. I think he was a bit fortunate there. Shane is shaking his head like, how did that happen? He's not too happy about that result. This will be good. From here, of course, we expect Jason to clear this table, and he will then be within one of Van Boning. And Jason Shaw now within touching distance of Shane Van Boning at four to three. If Team USA is to have any chance in the Moscone Cup, Shane's got to find a way to win this match. Thank you, Racket. USA to break, leading four rights to three. Shane has broken and run thousands of nine ball racks. He really wants to run this one. Made the one. A, yeah, he's got a ball down. He's got a clean shot on the two. There are only six balls left on the table. He made three on that break. He's got to make one hard shot. He needs to make this two ball and get the cue ball up table for the four. And remember, I said this is a hard shot. Got to pocket this two ball cleanly. Two rails for position. He do it. Went too far. He went too far. No good. No good. Well, he can still catch the edge, but not much to do with this. He overdid it there. Well, that was the second half of the shot, was playing that position. Cutting this in is a trick shot, and if you're playing a trick shot, you can do it, but in trick shots, you don't have to play shape. Extension call. He's going to have to come off the edge of the four ball and find some way to hide the cue ball. And he's going to leave that four out in the open. He f has to find a way to hide the cue ball behind those balls down table, the five, eight, and nine. Wow. Delicate touch there. He used the seven ball. That was a nice shot. Jason can see the four, but not enough to make it. 
That was a smart shot by Shane there. He missed the whole ball. That's the third time this week we've seen a ball whiffed. He had to hit it thin. He knew if he hit too much of the ball, the cue ball would scratch. There's Jeanette Lee showing her displeasure. You got to like Shane from here. Ball in hand, five balls. He's dead straight on that five ball. That's the miss. There's the whiff. Shane's flirting with the side pocket here. Did that pocket spit the ball out, or did he just miss it? It jawed out. Can we see that shot again? Oh, no, he missed it. He was trying to cheat the pocket a little Extension bit cold. to get the cue ball to go past the side. You can't cheat these pockets. Settle down, please. Thank There's you. There's no cheat room allowed. Oh, my goodness. Now Shaw has got to feel like he's at the table for free. He can do anything. Look at this shot. Look at this shot. This was a much harder shot than the one Shane had. We're going hill hill here. Right in the heart of the pocket. Same pocket, twice the distance. He did it. He's going to win this game. And be breaking for the match. Jason Shaw takes us to the desperation rack. One rack of nine ball to decide the match. Going over, getting encouragement from his teammates. As is Shane, getting some advice from his coach. I'm sure he's reaffirming exactly how he wants this break shot. Here's the miss from Van Boning that set up the win for Jason Shaw. He Jason. tried to cheat the pocket. Yeah, Jason needs to send uh, Shane a Christmas present for that one. To break. Last break of the match. And this is the biggest shot of this rack. Will he have control of the table when it's done? I think it's dry. It is dry. Shane Van Boning coming to the table with a one ball hanging over the side pocket. He's got to get all the way down to the end rail to shoot the two. Yeah, unless he wants to take on a tough cut. I don't think he does right now. He'd like to be right down on that rail. He's got the right angle. He's got to slide down and make sure he gets under the six ball here. This is the key shot right here. He didn't do it. He didn't get there. I don't think he can make this ball. No, he can't make this ball. The wheels fell off for Shane. This last rack. Well, he can lock Jason up here, though. That's not what he wanted to do. He wanted to run that rack. You know he did. He fell two feet short, Jerry. He lost his touch on that shot. Extension, Cole. He's got a very similar shot to the one Jason whiffed on a minute ago.
Well, that's good. Good safety. That's a good safety. Anytime your opponent comes to the table, though, you're in danger. Shaw has immediately gone to the short stick. This is a tough jump shot here. And risky. He could leave a great shot for Van Boning here. And he could leave nothing, too. Well, you called it. Once again, he lost it off the table. Cue ball goes off the table. This is Shane's third opportunity to win this match. Stall the clock, please. Will the third time be the charm? Ball in hand to win the day. Can he gather himself now? This is the pocket that got him last rack. He's. I... Well, he overdrew that ball a little bit, but he should be all right. Jane's got to show some character right now. did get there on the five. Boy, you know, this is going to be a test, Jerry. He's going to have to go back and forth across the table and get under the nine ball. That's why he's wearing that eye frown. He did it. He did it. This is not an easy run out. He's struggling here. He's got the wrong angle to get on the seven. He may have to go above the seven. He'd rather shoot it in the side, but I don't think he can. Let's see, can he hold this ball? Or is he gonna try to go all the way around? Let's see. Yeah, he's going around the seven. He did it. Nice touch there. He hit those last two shots good. Shane Van Boning's gonna make sure Every stroke now. Well, he made the hard stuff. Can he make the easy stuff now? I have no doubt. <laughs> He's got to hit this ball hard, Jerry. He's pretty straight. He's got to whack it. That's quite a shocker. And even Jason Shaw cannot believe that he's going to come back to the table. Here it is. Extension, Extension cold. Just a little bit off today. That cue ball wasn't going to get there anyway. Dennis Hatch in yeah. shock. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to step on you, That's Jim. okay. Don't worry about it. I'm just... We're both in shock uh, here. I tell you, I'm, in I'm really in shock. Well, I told you, it wasn't that easy shot. He had to whack it hard. Yeah! The problem with Jason is he just doesn't have enough emotion. Jason's going to get his revenge <laughs> and put Team Europe on the hill. That's one way to get rid of the adrenaline. Shout it out. The match went the distance, the result crucial for both teams, but it was Europe who yet again find a way to win. America hanging on, but it will be a tense final day here in the Moscone.
The importance of that win can't be underestimated. It takes Europe to within one of the Moscone Cup. It puts the Americans under immense pressure, but this tournament will go into a fourth day. From there on, it's all singles matches. Should it go the distance, the captain's pick will decide it. But first up, Team USA have to survive. Dennis Hatch, the man under the spotlight. Joshua Filler, the man with the chance to close out this tournament for Europe.